Hey songwriters, in this video we're going to talk about how to integrate third-party instruments into GarageBand. You might have a favorite instrument or instrument pack and you've been wondering how can I use those within GarageBand? Well that's what we're talking about in this video so let's dive in. All right, so this is pretty simple, but do pay attention, okay? So we're here in a blank project, and I'm simply going to create a software or MIDI instrument track. And by default in GarageBand, it'll be the classic electric piano, and it should also bring up by default the smart controls window here in the bottom. But if it doesn't, you can hit B on your typing keyboard to bring it up. Now, if you'll go down here, you see it says plugins, and there's a drop down menu. We're gonna click on plugins. And then here you see that the vintage piano is what's selected for our software instrument sound. So we need to change that to our third party plugin. And the way we do that is by hitting the drop down arrow and then you go down to AU instruments and all of your third party instruments will live here in this menu. I only have one, which is a piano from East West. And so I'm gonna hit stereo on that and you'll see it brings up the East West piano parameter box for me to work with. So I know that I need to go to main menu, I need to open one of the piano sounds and you can see it loading up here. And now I just wait for it to load up and once it loads up, now this piano sound is gonna become my MIDI instrument sound. Now we have this piano pulled up and I can now control it using my MIDI controller or even my typing keyboard. And so now I can go over here and right so it's really that simple but one thing that I want you to make sure of is when you come down here that there's no extra plugins attached to that for instance if we were to create a new track and make a piano sound so you can see in the Steinway Grand it has a few plugins that come with it by default and so if I was to change this over to the East West pianos I have this piano, but it has these extra sounds, these added effects, which you might like, but, but if you want to hear just the raw piano sound, then you actually need to get rid of these. You can either turn them off or say no plug-in, and now we have just the raw third-party plug-in, and that's what I like to go with and do my effects off of here, or you can do them down there as well. All right, so there you have it. It's pretty simple, it's really cool. And I will throw in here, I think that you have lots of really great sounds that come stock with GarageBand. So I would encourage you, don't go out and spend a bunch of money on plugins or software instrument packs unless you've just got that one sound or that one instrument pack that you have to have and you know you need that for your sound. So this is Dean signing out from the songwriting studio. I'll catch you in the next video.